Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. I'm Zelda Master and in this episode, we're going to start off by heading to the Harrow Island and getting ourselves two new treasure maps because well now that we have access to the northeastern quadrant, we have two new treasure maps we can get from the Harrow Island mini game uh, that will give us, you know, things to search in the northeastern quadrant so let's go ahead and get started and head over to the hero island and you know play the mini game that we played before and i believe we got two treasure maps from it already so there are two more we can get um hopefully we'll get some rupees as well because i'm gonna get a lot of rupees for this episode because i plan on doing another mini game as well so get ready for that uh and that mini game is gonna be a lot more difficult because it's not just luck it's more skill and I tend to lack the skill for the mini game we plan on taking up in in just a bit but first off let's go ahead and get the true treasure map so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this mini game and I guess I'll just cut uh, and you know until I get the two treasure maps because you already seen how I've done this before obviously shown in previous episodes so yeah, let's just go in and talk to him, pay him the money, and get started. Hopefully it doesn't take as long, because I don't want to spend all my rupees just trying to get true treasure maps. And, you know, I'm really hoping I don't get unlucky and, uh, you know, come upon a bunch of rupors and stuff. But yeah, I'll just cut. Let's see what we got first off. Alright, big rupee. So far, so good. Haha, <laughs> alright, so our first treasure map has been obtained. As you can tell, yes, it's in the northeastern quadrant because, you know, we would have never found these two treasure maps if we didn't unlock this part of the Great Sea, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead, rinse, repeat to find the final treasure map. And well, what do you know? It's so literally my second round of this mini game. The first thing I dig up is a treasure map so we have both of the treasure maps we came here for but i'm gonna keep digging hopefully get lucky and get a bunch of rupees from this so yeah and it was a bad idea pushing my luck uh i shouldn't have overstayed here because i have less rupees than i started out with so yeah but who cares um 300 rupees will be enough for what i plan on doing in this episode and as i said earlier i want to do a mini game obviously after the one we just did right now and that was to get those two treasure maps but now that we are heading to the northeastern part of the great sea we shall be taking on a new mini game and this mini game is a pretty long one so yeah get ready for that uh i am kind of nervous to take this one on because it's a little difficult, but as I say that, I, I do really find, because I said the same thing for the previous um, Temple of the Ocean King run, and I did really well on it, so yeah. I, I guess I just remember this to be something really difficult, uh, but it's not really, because, you know, I got used to it and stuff, and I'm the Zelda Master and all, and, and I hate saying that and stating that in videos, so I'm just going to stop, and let's let's roll on with the video, guys. Let's go ahead over to the Traveler ship, so... We're going to go ahead and talk to the Man of Smiles once again and, uh, you know, get something from him because we have have done him quite many favors, not really. Uh, I believe he gave us a really cool item and it started a whole trading sequence and stuff and that was cool and all, but if you go ahead and head to the ship again, he will have enemies on it like before and uh, if you kill him, he'll give you... He'll give you something pretty cool. If you kill the enemies, of course, not the man of smiles. That will that will not have him uh, smile anymore. He will be the man of frowns. Or the man of frown. Or the dead man of frown. Because he will be dead. And you can't really kill people like that in the game. But whatever. I don't know where I'm going with this. Let's just go ahead and board the ship. And get ready to fight off these baddies. So, yeah. Looks like a nice place. But it really isn't. It's filled with enemies. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I believe I just want to stun the uh zora warrior because he is going to give me the most trouble with him you know spitting fireballs and stuff and he also can use his sword to attack you so he has a good amount of uh different abilities that he can use you know he's ranged and melee which makes him a little bit difficult but we are the same actually because we have like certain items that will make us ranged and we have a sword uh for the melee attacks anyways i believe if i head by that door i will not be able to pick up this rupee because a 
small cutscene is gonna happen like right now, so it's a good thing I use my boomerang there. Anyways, hello there, man of smiles. It's gonna talk to him, so you have amazed me, I have not felt such blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, we are a pure-hearted individual. I believe that's what he said. So yeah, he's a man of smiles. Waha. Well, huh? Let's go and talk to him once more. I'm terribly sorry, but you helped me. Yes, yes, we have helped you. So he is going to give us a prize. It's a postcard. We can put it in the mailbox, and we should receive something pretty cool. So very mysterious. Yes, it is. Uh, I'll take that and just leave. That's pretty much all we want to do now. And, um... Yeah, I don't really plan on heading to these two islands we marked earlier before. I actually want to locate an uncharted island that holds a mini game that I was speaking of earlier. So let's go ahead and start sailing to the north, and hopefully I can find the golden frog that should be around this location that will allow me to teleport to, you know, this area anytime I want to. So if I find him, I'll be sure to stop and, uh, you know, just hit him with a cannonball if if he doesn't mind, and oh crap, there are some sharks lurking by, and the thing I hate about these enemies is they're really hard to hit because they, yeah, come really fast at you like that. Huh, I think I'm just going to keep going because, oh, okay, they, they leave as soon as I decide to forget the frog because I didn't want to get hit by him anymore, but whatever, we'll come back for that golden frog, but anyways, let's go ahead and continue onwards until we locate the island. We should start seeing it. Uh, I don't know how big the render distance, how far it is, rather. Uh, we can start to see it, though, right now. There is the island, and there are some enemies sighted, but we're just going to ignore that and wait for Ciela to locate the island. Ciela, do you not see the island? Because we can't land on it unless it's, you know, jotted down on our sea chart, so they have to notice it. Hello! Look! Look at the island! Okay, I have to maybe stop and hit go. I, I'm not entirely sure. Let's just go ahead and reroute our area and see if that does anything. There we go! Took him long enough. But yeah, and you can actually hear CL say, like, look! Like she would, or rather, that same voice clip uh, would be in an Ocarina of Time. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Because Ciela wasn't your fairy in Icon of Time, it was Navi. So, yeah, let's go ahead and head over to this mysterious island of sorts with a bunch of question marks and see what it will do for us. Uh, it looks like a pretty weird island, I must say. It's surrounded by walls. I don't know why every single island, like, sprouts out of the water like that, like, out of the ocean. I don't know how you can even land. Like, the dock is so low. How are you supposed to head up to the island itself? Obviously, that's just, you know, the sprite from outside. You know, how the model looks. So, this is a fascinating island, don't you think? Yes, I do. I definitely agree. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So, there's a gossip stone. Let's go ahead and read this, though. So, Treasure Maze, Hall of Fame. Currently blank? That sucks, man. What are we supposed to do? Well, we are going to fix it. So let's go ahead and hit this uh, Gossip Stone. Boing! Okay, so welcome to the Trigger Maze. Shall we get started? Let's just click yes. And basically how this works is we're going to pay rupees to play this mini game where we have to hit a certain amount of Gossip Stones and make it to the prize in a certain amount of time. We're on beginner, and it looks pretty complicated as you tell. We have four Gossip Stones we have to hit in a certain amount of time, and you have to jot them down on your map because... Yeah, you see how it shows you the locations on your map currently? They end up fading away like a couple seconds after. So you want to make sure you jot them down on your map so you know where they are. And I don't know why I hit this eye. You actually don't need to hit this. You can completely avoid that for now. Because um, this run, the beginner run, doesn't need that. So yeah, we're just going to avoid it and continue on. The beginner is actually really easy, of course, because, you know, it is called beginner, but it does ramp up in difficulty as time goes on. And you want to make sure you take on every single round. I believe there's like beginner, normal, and expert. So yeah, expert is obviously the the most rewarding. You'll see what it is. Let's go ahead and hit the second one. Um, as you can tell, there's a time ticking in the background, and I think that's the most nerve-wracking part about this, just knowing that once it starts ticking fast, you have, like, no time left. So, you're just listening to the tick and hoping it, you know, stays at the same pace. Um, because there's no actual timer. And I want to hit this because we are playing beginner mode, so we have the most time and, you know, the least gossip stones to hit. 
So, yeah, if you go ahead and hit that, uh, or rather put a bomb on that wall, you can easily pick up a treasure chest, which has a wisdom gem in it. So, not too shabby, if I do say so myself. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit this one. And I believe that's all of them. So, we hit all four. Now, a chest appears. Now, how to get these chests, what you want to do is head back to that area where we like jumping from platform to platform, which is like over here. And just keep jumping till you make it to where the chests are. So we went down from there, but if we keep going, yeah, that's how you pick up the chest. And once you pick up the chest, the minigame's over. You'll be teleported right outside and be able to take on the next level. So that does that for beginner level. So nice work, impressive. Uh, try your hands at it again. Yes, we want to do that. And now it's normal. As you can tell, the price is. Uh, is a lot more expensive we have to pay 50 rupees for this but that's okay I don't really care let's go ahead and get ready to do this I'm gonna go ahead and hit the switch now new ones are going to appear we want to make sure we hit those as well um, so yeah I believe it shows you the new ones that appear first and now it's gonna show you the older ones just like so so we want to quickly jot these down on our map and then do the exact same thing that we did earlier uh, I believe only four more appear so now there are eight not too difficult um this one's also pretty easy so I, I don't think i need to worry now we actually want to hit this hopefully we can wait that was weird okay th what the frick wait what both of my arrows missed all right so this mini game i don't believe we can do it now without the arrows that kind of sucks i only had two more arrows on me well, guys, so we have to leave. Uh, first, we have to actually exit this minigame. And to exit, you go ahead and go to quit minigame. Okay. Uh, go to quit minigame. I keep hitting continue on accident. And, yeah, now we wasted 50 rupees. But it doesn't matter. I will be heading back out to the sea really quickly, picking up some arrows and seeing if I can get some money. Because I actually need some money to, you know, pay another 50 rupees and do the expert one, which will be 100 rupees. Just spoiling it now, so yeah, that was a great way to end that. I will be back, Maze Island, to complete you. But anyways, let's go ahead and cut to uh, when I do stuff. Oh, well, what do you know? Yeah, Jolene is here. Great time. Alright, let's see if we can hit this golden frog really quick before she... Hops on our ship. All right, sweet. Now let's just go ahead and jot this down so we could teleport to this location anytime we want. It's a pretty cool looking thing. Um, it's not actually a Z. It looks like it connects, but you actually want to draw it like this. So more like a box and then you put a line in between that, like a complete box. So basically like the final um, side of the box is tilted. It's like falling over. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and accept our fate and have Jolene ambush our ship. And I guess fight her. Uh, hopefully Landbeck gives us rupees. I don't think he gives you rupees after like the first three times you take on Jolene. So it might be useless, but I don't care. Let's just go ahead and do it. So yeah, prepare, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares, Jolene. Yeah. Hopefully she keeps charging at me though. All right, sweet. She's never going to try to fight in between. I think she knows what happens every time she fights me. She just loses. So let's go ahead and chance with her. Rub really quickly. And huzzah. That does that. So goodbye, Jolene. Because the music that plays here is really cool. I like it. It's like super subtle and nice. Um, sounds like something is, is beating in the background. I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's like the ship engine and stuff. But who cares? Um, I just like it. Like, I never really noticed it until now. Anyways, onward with our adventure. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to Malida Island. Because I believe they sell arrows there. And I might head over to the um, traveler ship over there as well. Like, south of Malida Island. Because he does give me treasure. And I could sell that to the treasure teller to get some rupees. Because as you can tell, I'm really tight on rupees. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and head over to Malida Island. And here we are at the local shop of Malida Island. So let's go ahead and buy some arrows. Man, 10 for 50 rupees. I believe I'm going to buy a set of two because 20 should do the thing. I, I'm pretty sure 20 is enough. But now we're going to need some more rupees. So let's go ahead and head over to that traveler ship and see if we can get ourselves some cool treasure. Okay, so here we are, and there he is, playing dead. 
Uh, I believe I want to take out the Zora Warrior first. I don't want to come near him because he's going to hit me. There we go. He's knocked out and spin attack twice. Surprised that two spin attacks actually killed him. I believe it's because of my enchanted sword of awesomeness. And ooh, a red rupee. I actually need that. All right. So, ow. Uh, I just find it funny how I only read that part of his dialogue and I ignore everything else because I just want the um, treasure. Let's see what he gives me this time. Really? Only two and it's pink coral and a Rudo crown? That's like the worst. I just want one. I, if he can give me just one Goron Ember, I'd be so happy. I don't know why he never gives that to me. It freaking sucks. Like, every single time I get pink coral, a Rudo crown, or whatever else the other Rudo item is. I actually forgot what it was. But in general, I only can sell that for 50 rupees at the Treasure Teller, so. Yeah, it's it's not that good. None of those are good. Um, but it's whatever. I mean, at least it gives me free treasure. So I'm not... I, I mean, I was complaining, but I'm not going to complain anymore because I should be grateful. And yeah, we can come back to him every single day. I should do that. Even if I'm not recording that day, I should just head over to the Traveler ship and... Uh, do, nah, I don't really want to do that. I think it's a lot better if I show all of my progress you know on screen throughout the let's play I think that just make more sense so yeah I guess uh, you know if I'm tight on rupees I'm gonna have to record and stuff but anyways let's go ahead and sell all of our things uh, I don't really care yeah he's only gonna buy it for 50 I feel really bad doing this because the uh, traveler ship at the uh, I believe southeastern part of the Great Sea like uh, where the telescope men of old wafering people are at uh, th they actually buy some of your treasure for a decent amount of rupees every certain day it really depends on what they want so I could sell it for really good rupees but I'm, I'm kind of uh, tight here so I'm just gonna do whatever I can and let's go ahead and put this postcard in so we are set now back to maze island I will be able to teleport to there easily now that we have the golden frog thing so let's go ahead and do that really quick I want to see if I can do it on my first try um, because I actually really like doing these you know frog slate things let's see all right so we want to do that that and this I have it tilted a little bit but the game read it correctly and I am safe to travel to another area so awesome let's go ahead and make our way to the maze island And we have arrived to Maze Island, where the island is just a maze, but it's a mini game as well. So, yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and talk to this guy over here, this Gossip Stone, and let him know that we are down. Uh, I don't know how many rupees I actually have. Oh wow, we have 413. That's pretty good, actually. All right, so I am set to do this. Let's just go ahead and get started. So I already have them all jotted down on my map but they're gonna show us the locations again just in case you don't have them jotted down of course uh, I'm assuming the game wants you to do that unless you can actually like remember where every single gossip stone was put in but in any case let's go ahead and get started uh, real quickly this one isn't that difficult either uh, the only one I'm kind of nervous about is the expert one, which I believe is like 16 gossip stones or something. So, yeah, it's it's pretty difficult, but um, yeah, this one's easy. So I think I'll be able to do it with these. I'm just gonna hit the switch for the lulls, but I don't think you really have to hit this one in this run, of course. And wait, where am I going? I believe I have to actually backtrack here. So I wasted a little bit of time. Now here's the thing: you want to be kind of spot on with this because every second counts. It's not like they give you a whole bunch of time to do this, and there's so many routes as well, so you want to make sure you take out uh, the right routes. Now, I don't think I'm taking the most efficient route, but I'm really doing whatever I possibly can uh, currently, because I think this is the best way to do it. Now, you, you actually have to hit every single Gossip Stone with your sword as well. I think I failed to mention that, but keep that in mind. So you can't just snipe one with an arrow like the one that was over there. I have to actually manually walk all the way towards it and hit it. 
uh, but I don't even think that's something that should be explained because you can't even hit gossip stones with any other item besides your sword so yeah it's not anything new at least in this game I believe in like you know the 3d Zelda games you can use other melee weapons but in this game you can only use your sword to get that weird jiggle the gossip stones tend to do when you do hit him but yeah, let's go ahead and hit this one and they look really weird I must say this game, they took a really weird, you know, turn with the Gossip Stones. Because it used to be, I mean, you used to, like, jiggle, like, the same way. Because when you hit them, they have that weird bouncy thing. But these ones are a lot more round. The ones in, like, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, they looked, like, a lot more harder. And when you'd hit it, it'd, like, shatter, in a sense, without actually shattering. It just looked a lot weirder. Like, there was more impact on the Gossip Stone. And I kind of like that more. But I don't mind this one. It's still cartoony and... I kind of like it but yeah let's go ahead and quickly make our way to the chest uh, I think we're doing pretty good on time actually so yeah uh, let's see what this chest has to give us and we get ourselves a treasure map so the prize is ramping up not really but still so yeah we are victorious for the normal round now it is time for expert now this one's a hundred rupees good thing we have like 400 rupees in our bag so we are set. actually only 360 and now 260 so we got to do this now I don't think I'm gonna do it in my first try because um, I don't actually know the most efficient route I think it's like the exact same route but I might do a you know quick run of this map out where I should be going and then and then show you guys how to do it so I might just cut until I figure out the the most efficient way to do this so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly put these on my map and see how I'm supposed to do this I'm not entirely sure cuz I can't really remember this one that well like I said this one is kind of difficult so we'll see how to do this now I'm gonna quickly I'm um, just mess around and see what I can do okay so this is my second time I actually mapped out a route for this and I think I can do it really easily I'm pretty sure this route is the most efficient way to take it. Now, it's really scribbly and stuff, but I had to do it in a short amount of time. So, I wasted 100 rupees just to try this out and map out my route. But I want to make it really easy for the video you guys are watching. So, yeah, if you follow this route, you should be able to do it correctly. Obviously, I'm showing you in this video as well, just so you can get a better um, example on how to do this. And I believe I'm actually heading the wrong way. Let's not do that. I want to be heading the correct way, of course, and yeah. This is actually really easy taking my route. I actually like this. Like, I just have to look at it. I don't have to, like, remember where each one is, because if you just put a small dot and then, you know, map out the route, it should be really easy. I'm going to hit the switch really quick. The reason why is because I just don't want to skip any switches. I don't think that switch is really that important, but I know this one is. So make sure to hit the switch or you might mess up your whole thing. The whole run might be over somehow so yeah it's it's rather important I'm gonna hit this one as well and run down here where we'll find another gossip stone and if I believe if I hit that we'll be you know set and if I believe if I go up I can hit another gossip stone but I'm just gonna take my route I'm not gonna break it um, because I don't want to accidentally go an area where I thought was the correct way and then end up screwing myself over so yeah uh, I should just pretty much follow how I drew it right now. So, so far we have eight down, and we're doing pretty good. Let's quickly take out our arrows. I believe the most time-consuming thing is, like, switching out an item if you ever do. And you only switch from, like, arrows to bombs. Actually, we did switch to a grappling hook earlier, so we can hit the one that was really high up. And as you saw, we had to, like, actually fling ourselves up there because we had to use our sword. Like I said, you know, you only can hit him with your sword. Because if I tried to use an arrow, it wasn't going to work. I actually tried, and that's why I don't have as many arrows as I did before. Because I used so many arrows trying to hit that gossip stone, and it didn't work. It's a good thing I tried ahead of time and didn't show you my fail. But so far, 11 are down. Uh, I believe there are only 14, actually, not 16. Wow, I'm, like, going to choke on air, and I'm being serious when I say that. felt like I was going to choke on air for a second. Let's go ahead and run up here. It's kind of weird, choking on air. Instead of, like, water or anything. I don't know how that was going to happen, but it just felt like it was. Yeah, I, I believe there are only 14. 
I don't know what made me say 16, but it's okay. There we go. So, I believe we have like 20 seconds to spare or something. I actually don't know how much time they give you, but we've done it. It's not that hard. I don't know what made me say it was going to be hard, but let's wait. All right, the time is actually tickering really fast. Phew, all right, we picked it up, and we got a heart container, of course. That is a super special prize from taking on the expert course of this. And we also get ourselves something else, which is, I believe, another treasure map. So, yeah, this episode has been fully dedicated to this one island. But I definitely think it was worth it for this big gold rupee. It's worth 300 rupees. Let's check out this stone sleigh. And yes, kudos to Link. Thank you, Gossip Stone. I'm assuming he wrote that. But yeah, that does that for, I believe, this episode. In the next episode, we'll be continuing on with the main story. But for now, you know, we did a bunch of side quests and things. And, you know, it's kind of worth it. We got ourselves a heart container, two gems, and... I believe like four treasure maps so yeah thank you all so much for watching i've been zelda master and i'll catch you all in the next one goodbye